Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, everyone. Today is uh, replacing the valves on our sea chest day. So in our engine room, we have a sea chest, which is a box underneath has a massive inlet and it lets the water into the sea chest and off the perimeter of the sea chest is all of our valves. For example, one will be for the engine, one will be for the toilets and whatever else needs water. So it sort of consolidates all of our valves down to a small area. I don't know if I like it or not yet, but it's what we've got, makes sense, but it does have a quite a large hole in the bottom uh, underneath the sea chest, which is a little bit scary. Anyway, I'm going to assemble all these today. So we've got our Groco valves and skin fittings and barbed connectors and bits and pieces. So pretty much what we're going to be doing today, quality fittings. Thanks, Paul, for taking me down the other day and getting these. This will pretty much be on our sea chest and then followed by a valve, followed by whatever we're connecting to it, example, the engine and then that will be able to be isolated. The ones at the moment, which I'll show you, are in very, very poor state. These are throughout the boat, and the ones actually throughout the boat look in pretty good condition. They're quite a heavy through hole and valve that we've got. But yeah, in assembling these, I'm just gonna be using a bit of thread tape over the threads, and followed by a little bit of Loctite which you could actually use that just in itself, but I just double it up, just cause I can. And obviously for the skin fitting, we're gonna be using a bit of Fast Cure, 42. So it's a 3M sealant, similar to the 52. If you know sealants, you know 5200, 4200, they're pretty much the ones that if you do use it, it's something you don't wanna be removed in the future. Well, not for a long time anyway, because it really sticks well. I got one wrench, which I'll use to tighten. I don't know where my shifter is. I'm gonna have to try and find that. I've got so many tools now, guys. Thank you to everyone that's contributed, right down to my caulking gun, my sealant, everything. We're uh, blown away with uh, how generous you guys have all been with us, with our tool situation, because when we first got on the boat, there was not, literally, was not one tool. So, now we have enough to complete all these tasks that are ahead of us. So in the next coming weeks, it's gonna be fun. Grab a cup of coffee, or if it's past 12 o'clock and somewhere in the world and you wanna grab a cold beer, whatever it may be, let's go and install these items in the engine. Guys, so here we are in the engine bay today and we are replacing our valves, which I just previously showed you out on the table so this is pretty much what I'll be replacing here um, this valve it is sad but it's nowhere near as sad as the ones around the corner but we'll get to those soon so we'll start with the easy one first work our way around to another five around the other side and like I say out with the old and in with the new so just that peace of mind I really want to get these replaced this is the sea chest. This is um, this big silver pole is a plug that Lee has put in there to stop the water. Usually the water is up to here. I think oh, I have footage halfway. of it. Yeah, I have footage of it, but if I don't, that's where the water goes up to. And this, he has dried it all out so he can work on it. These are the other valves down this side that are pretty terrible looking. Especially this one, guys. It's actually it's oozing salt water out of it, which we'll have a look at this later. I'll pull all these apart and show you how actually bad they actually were. I'm replacing six valves today. Two of them will be three quarter and the rest of them are one inch.
Look, it'll probably be alright, but I can... Let me explain. So there's my gap with a fully tightened up. So, so that's as tight as it will go, and it's still loose on the fitting. The sealant should take it up, but yeah, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to remove it, which is a pain because it's cleaning up silicon. 5200 or whatever it is I'm using. 4200 is it? Yeah, 4200 fast cure. So I'm going to clean that up, clean it all up again, start again, but I'm going to make a backing block so that I can get a nice positive fix. Oh, look, it's, it's probably be all right. I'm just, yeah, I'm just not 100% not happy with it. So, all right, we'll stop the clock and uh, I'll clean up and we'll get back to it again with the block. So, the sea chest is thinner than what? Yeah. The, the wall of the sea chest is thinner than what and it closes up to is what is going on about. So, <laughs> The sea chest was a little bit thicker. We'd be right. It's not that it, it is pretty solid, but like I'm saying, this it's obviously that's all I've got to work with. I can't tighten any more than that. Well, anyway, try to clean this up. Back try, to it. try again tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make a block up now. Oh, you've got the stuff. I don't know. I'll see what I've got. I just need a backing block, really. <laughs> Okay, we're back in action, I think. Um, so I've just made a spacer block. So I'll actually mount that on the outside of the box and I'll, I can do it up under here. As opposed to that issue I had where it was too thin, I've now got a block and by the time that goes to about there, I'll be able to have something to do my nut up onto. I'm also down one tool that I've sort of improvised. Um, I've never really had the tool, but what I do do um, what I actually do, there is a special tool that there's two lugs on the inside that actually you hold on to and there is a tool but I don't have it but you can turn a spanner around, a wrench as the Americans would say, and you're able to hold it at one end. So in this case, because I haven't got access to the inside, I'm going to slide that in and I can hold this and I can do the nut up. So, righto, back in action, let's do this again. Good job, Captain. That took longer than you thought. Always takes longer, but <laughs> we get there in the end. Alright. Let's uh, move some more valves. Hands on the other side. Oh, the whole thing's spinning.
How's it going, Captain? Oh, uh, you know. A little bit challenging, but we're getting there. Just getting ready for hatches, playing with goo. Well, your favourite thing? I don't like it. It just gets everywhere. Just not a clean person with it. Two, two to go. It's lucky we've got tires with long arms, hey? Otherwise, the, bit, the bottom ones would have been a bit tricky. Wouldn't they? They would have. I couldn't put them all straight together. Well, I've got them all on an angle up that way. Reason for that is if I have them flat, it hits the flywheel. And then if I bring them all up vertical, these knock each other because these two are a bit closer than that one. They're not centered properly. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's fine. That'll do for now. Turn them on. They're all that way. Turn them off. They're all up. Generally a valve handle. Usually how we do it is... Um, runs with the pipe. Runs with the pipes off a valve handle. Points the um, direction of flow generally. If you can make it work that way. Sometimes you can't, but generally that's what we try and do. Right, so are we having dinner break or are you keeping oh, charging I'm, on through? I'm just going to be two more valves to do because i got a plug in this box here. And if that was to pop out for some reason, we have water flowing everywhere. And we still haven't got our bilge pump yet. So we do have a 240 volt one that we can plug in. But for now, we don't have an automatic one. <laughs> so I get very nervous with stuff like this. I hear we don't go anywhere. <laughs> well... The boat sat here for some time and it's had no bilge pump, so it hasn't been leaking water. Otherwise, it'd be on the bottom of the ocean. Anyhow, I'll keep chugging along here and just finish off. Lee found a good use of Taz's long arms. <laughs> She's super helpful, is the only one who can reach down there. <laughs> yeah. Too easy guys, we're gonna wrap it up. It's bedtime, dinner time, or dinner time, then bedtime. Um, I've had enough. I've had enough of playing with all these dodgy old corroded valves. Have a look at these things. Look at that. That's just got salt water oozing out over that and it's just, oh, if you can see in there, that is disgusting. Anyway, they're pretty sad looking valves, but We've got some new ones on there now, so one less job out of the road.